A few degrees can be the difference between life and death. That's the warning from the authors of a pan-European study that found the recent European heat wave killed almost 2,500 people in 12 cities. And the researchers say most of them would still be alive if climate change had not pushed temperatures to dangerous highs. 1,500 um, have only died because of climate change. So they would not have died if it would not have been for our burning of oil, coal and gas in the last century. Parts of the continent passed a sweltering 40 degrees Celsius last month. A separate report by the European climate watchdog Copernicus finds it was the hottest June on record in Western Europe. The report notes human-caused climate change made the heat wave up to four degrees hotter in cities, which have lower tree cover and paved surfaces that store and release heat. The extreme temperatures were not limited to land. We also saw a marine heat wave in this western part of uh, the Mediterranean basin, and this kind of also reinforced, especially things like nighttime temperatures, then not being able to cool down, and so which led to a lot of what we call tropical nights. Those tropical conditions meant no respite from hot temperatures overnight, one of the main factors in heat deaths. As global warming continues unabated, Copernicus warns heat waves will become more frequent and intense and will hit more people across Europe. It's 10 years since the Paris Climate Accords were signed with the goal of limiting long-term global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. Scientists say drastic action is required to keep that threshold in sight.